So this is your boy, Mr. G. Just uh, want to talk about a little cost analysis thing on the uh, Street Bob. So Harley Davidson Street Bob. I'm going to tell you, I just got off that bike after saying a lot of nice things about it. I did not feel uh, like the way I spoke by the time I was done freezing. Um, it is a super cramped bike, especially if you consider the fact that I'm short. So I'm 5'6 with a 28 inch inseam. I get off the bike with my arms stretched out on these stupid mini apes that don't really make the bike look any cooler. Um, this tiny seat with my, my knees up, like not sport bikes in your pocket, but kind of like knees up too high because the mid controls are um, not down low enough. Um, I, I had a sports store with mid controls and wasn't cramped like that. And it is a cost effective purchase. But that first couple of months of buying the bike where I'd have to be waiting on parts and uh, what, you know, let me save up a couple hundred dollars before I buy my next P. Like, I would not enjoy riding my bike. So, I don't know, be cautious. Or maybe you ride it and you just think it's just amazing just the way it is and all you need is a, is taller apes. Um, I doubt that, but that's just my piece on it. It's a lower price and uh, not necessarily um, a, sh a sure thing for a purchase because of it. It's your boy, Mr. G, and I'm out.